Yes, come chase us, but I certainly don't want to fight them on the frozen tundra. Let's get level ground at night time. Yes, absolutely. We, we, we'll get absolutely the best crossbows we can for our cross, crossbowmen. And then all of the raiders in the front line, they've all got quick hands. So, for example, when we're fighting orcs, they'll have their two-handed weapon and they'll have a crossbow. So they'll get one or two, maybe even three crossbow shots off before whipping out their weapon and going to work. The other, the other thing I could do is I could give them throwing weapons. Throwing weapon and shield to start with and just get some throwing weapons off at the orcs as they approach. Uh, and then go to their main weapons. I mean, if they hit anything, it's just a bonus with their throwing weapons. I uh, just have PTSD from the Orc Warriors with axes that already have 50 damage bonus if you hit the head because the axe on top of it is a headshot. Yeah. Let's move forward by one here. They're not going to come at us though because they've got marksmen, but it is night time, so they are, they're going to have to come at us. Very mind though, uh, you make a good point about the Orc Warriors with the axes that do extra damage on headshots, but. This is undead late game. We're not fighting uh, orcs. Do any of the zombies have uh, axe? Or, yeah, actually, yeah. No, some of the zombies can have axes. The vampires have... They don't have axes. They have cleavers. And the ancient dead, they use pole arms, swords, and spears. Okay, the, the two war bows hurt a little bit, but this is great. I mean, it's going to let us get some shots off on this guy. Good hit. Ooh, yeah, he didn't like that. He's coming at us. 35%. I don't think 35% is worth taking. Is it, though? Just kill one of these guys. Oh, so close. Just wanted to set the tone, if you will. Do we start putting pressure on these guys? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, she's like... A lot of mercs in. They can have them, but they tend to not have them all that often. So if I move you forward, Pi, does that leave... Who's that going to give these guys an open shot at? You know, that's probably fine. Patton's going to go in that position there. This is a bit unneat in terms of how we are engaging, which I don't like, but at least we're getting a kill or two. Get your head crushed, nerd. Also, that's bows, which still hurt, but the crossbows are way worse. I only want to particularly dagger that guy down because I want his armor. It's not going to be easy though. It's going to take forever to get through his, his shield. So I'm actually not even going to bother. If I surround him, we should, we should be able to get the stabs off that we need to. Well, actually, Krytar can get his Woodsman's Axe. It should be two or three shots to get through that. Love the sound of an arrow hitting a shield when it's my boys. All these misses, thank God. I don't think any of the cities we've been to actually has a, a, a kennel. Oh, but no. oh, great shot. There must be at least one kennel on the map. And it's going to be worth going to that kennel and getting a doggo. No frick. Uh, you've actually got decent melee defense. Axis nerd. Good hit. Ouch. Cut arm is supposed to be minus attack skill. And he still hit us both times. The fucking motherfucker. Annoying. Ouch. 
Eccoci. Yeah, I get that, Wolfric, but still, it's annoying. These guys obviously didn't get the memo. Don't hit me. She cried Are you gonna try to stab? Oh no, only 7% chance. Not worth. If I'm lucky, he won't have shield specialist. Maybe it'll, that shield will die in two hits. It looks like it might do. That shield looks like it's almost in half. I love how the archers just run away. They're like, it's not time. Fuck it. Are we? Oh, that was silly of me. Caper. Yeah. Okay, Kill nerd. Don't miss nerd. Oh. Uh, he acts in six turns, 30%. Break shield. Yes. Uh, Patton, just wait. There you go. These fucking spears, man. Oh God! Almost two shot him. I do have weapon master, yeah, it's true. Ooh, ouchie. I think it's time to run Kazathor away. Probably Leofric as well, if we're not careful. There you go. A straight arrow could kill them. So that is a concern. run at these archers. No frick. Shield out. Yeah, Kessethor's earned some time off. Good god. Ah, yes. Pardon. I don't want these nerds to escape, I want their heads. Yeah, they are all escaping. Fuck's sake. So it looks like we're only gonna get the seven heads out of this. So 22 more needed. 23 more needed, excuse me. Good, another basic male. Eventually, we can replace all the basic, all the worn mail with basic mail, and we'll be off to a good start. Uh, Kazathor. We can just do a straight swap, and we'll, we'll give the B team some fights here. Another dagger lying around. Uh, yes, we do. Let's see who needs repaired armor. Ouchie. You do. I thinking I might actually have to run into town and uh, go buy some more tools. Okay, nice. The first of many light crossbows. We're going to need four of them eventually for our raiders.
of these three, I think that the defeat a dozen enemies is probably the easiest one. 20 good men's a bit expensive. I think the most daring attack on goblin, goblins in large numbers. Goblins, I don't want to fight goblins. In fact, I'm hoping now to come across a, a big group of zombies. 12 at least would be ideal. But well, that's nice and cheap. We have to buy all of that. Uh, we need seven spears. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think I've got enough of these f maces, actually. I can probably get rid of them. I don't know about soul crushing. Like, I mean, I, I have gotten lucky before with, with the goblin one, and I, I just came across four of those little huts with, like, half a dozen goblins in each, and I quickly went and cleared those out. But that was very, very un uh, lucky of me, and it was unlikely to get that. Okay, we've got enough food. We'll make some profit off this copper. Uh, hmm. Did I see a temple in this? No, I did not. As always, we'll keep an eye out for more cultists. No. Uh, it's 100 gold. Let's just give this guy a try. See what he looks like. Edward, two stars. And I, this is like, this is the iron lungs. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is the iron lungs map <laughs> we've got four guys with iron lungs and the cool thing is i can actually turn this i can make this griff now he'll he, he'll be a better mace master he's got fatigue he's got iron lungs he's got melee skill he doesn't have stars and melee defense but he'll be carrying a shield to make up for it so okay so griff 92 100 Nice. 18. Excellent. Slowly but surely, we're going to work out all these B team guys. Although, actually, you don't have mace specialization yet, so start with a spear. Griff, thank you for your service. Hit the road. You know what, I think that I can probably get away with not carrying, not using these daggers on the raiders. Let's use something a bit more impactful like a spear when they're not using the woodcutter's axes. Although you, Kavo, you've got the fatigue, you've got the sword specialization. Ooh. In fact, you can use that sword. If I have another Felchin, yeah, what the hell? We can do Felchins on the on the raiders. Okay, keep Griff alive. Let's see, so this is Huskull A two, uh, Huskull A two, Huskull A one. So who still needs to be replaced? Kaiba needs to be replaced because he doesn't have stars in his mini defense. He could become a shield user, but I've already given him sword specialization. We're going to have to replace him at some point. But we've got Stobby, so Stobby will replace him, which means so eventually it'll be I need four A-team raiders interspersed with three A-team shield bearers. Perfect. Of course, and then it'll be like that. So then, yeah, Cable would be retired, and then we'll just have a second archer, and then that'll be that'll be our group. Okay. We're almost there. Okay, let's make sure all of you guys have good daggers. Okay, enough enough faffing about. Let's get out there. Patrolling to Tunberg. 
Man, we are flying through the tools. Tools, tools, tools. Uh, Rabasan, good evening. I need to keep keep uh, keep track of this map seed. It's a bloody great one. Many young and a few warriors. That that's actually a bit much for us right now. We'll, we'll let the army take care of that. The problem we have is we don't have a lot of archers. This is not a team setup that's really you know meant to take on orcs. Nice bit of profit there. Oh, fuck sakes, where's the tools? I need tools, damn it. Tools and cultists. The poacher, tempting. But no. We are in the market for obviously any cultists we can find. Okay, hang on. This is getting a bit silly now. I need 22 more heads. And I don't want to fight orcs. That's all orcs. I think we're going to find zombies out here to the east. And we need to do the exploring anyway. We've got four days worth of food. And we can stop in at these other cities and try to get our hands on some tools. Yep, someone called the strong, but... Not, not in the criteria. At the moment, all I'm looking to hire is cultists or hunters or witch hunters. Damn it. Remember the mission. We want cultists. 283. Good God. Ah. I don't see any other tools to be had, so... Unfortunate. So the strong gives them the strong trait, which is, I think, 10 fatigue. Very nice. Goblins. One ambusher and some skirmisher. That's actually tempting. Get some goblin weapons. That's only one goblin archer. Where are the cultists? Two fifty, okay, that's about enough. Damn, we're running out of crowns. We need heads for this mission. Nah, it's just, it's just orc central on this map. Come on, I, what I need is a, a big, uh, a big graveyard that's pumping out zombie patrols, which is normally what I rely on when I've got these patrol missions for quick, reliable, relatively easy heads. I think we have to at least check what's in here, because if it's zombies, we, we just need the heads. But we can be prepared to run away. Morel is in decent shape, so... But in these castle ruins, it can be quite tough. Okay, so nine of them. We've got what looks like four marksmen and five raiders. The problem is it's daytime, so a lot of these marksmen shots are going to hit. If I come back at night, this should be doable. If we run them down, I think we're going to take probably... We're going to take far too many shots. Let's just retreat and come back at night. It's 9 out of the 23 heads we need, which is not a lot, but I mean... Let's just do it. We're running out of time. Yep, they don't want to chase us. Good.
Like at this point, I wish I could just press, you know, retreat and have it be over without any negative consequences, but. Oh well, let's go through the motions. I need the brave Sir Robin music now. Probably just two more turns. So overall, I feel pretty good about the campaign. We've got some nice brothers, uh, a bunch of Iron Lungs, which is huge. And we've got some nice star distributions on the, on the right skills. It's just the lack of archers is starting to worry me. I mean, sure, we were only going to have two anyway, but it's a month in and we've only got the one. But at least our money is relatively stable, so I'm pretty sure once we find someone who we can try, it's... it's can just hire them there was a poacher that we saw earlier but poachers aren't wonderful i'd really much rather buy a hunter or a witch hunter i mean they are very expensive to to, to fish for but once you get a good one man they're amazing i think mark anthony was a was one of the companions yeah he was a starting companion and then there was another archer who we had who was a hunter who ended up with i think 94 range skill such a badass. Also, we're currently only using these round shields. We need kite shields and we need uh, heater shields as well. I mean, I would say make the shields the next priority, but none of these guys have shield experts, so that's so disappointing when you like spend 350 on a heater shield. And then you fight an enemy that just destroys it in a single shot. Ah, oh, it's only dawn. We'll have to come we'll come back there when it's dark. Hello, hello. Perfect. A necromancer, some Vidigangas, many armor Vidigangas. That's very doable. The problem we have is we don't have anyone worth uh what's it called? footwork so getting into contact with the necromancer is going to be tough i suggest okay so everybody up front unless you have particular skills just go for uh let's say spears because they're super accurate and don't even use your fatigue for that maybe the two guys on the flanks We'll just start them off like this, and they all just run like a big loop. We'll send out yeah, two groups of two in a big pincher movement, and then it's going to be about getting these guys in the middle. They need to uh, make contact with all the zombies. And then we try to get Jungian into position. This should also give us our more than 12, oh, exactly, our 12 or more ambition, which is great. Uh... A little bit nerve-wracking because I don't know where the zombies are. If we wait and let them come towards us, I don't know if that's smart or not. No, let's go straight for the pinching movement. I don't want to waste any time. Okay, there he is. Not the most difficult starting, uh, starting spot. Do I sprint everybody forward just to get as close to him as we can? I've never tried that before. One, two, three, four. Let's, let's try the, the sprint at tactic, which I've never tried before. This could be a stroke of genius, or it could be a disaster that gets us all killed. Let's find out. Okay, one thing is clear that I don't I, I don't need to use Krata or these two to try to flank that way. I'm going to put Krata out by himself so he can swing his axe in a big circle. And we're going to be ignoring these ones that don't have weapons. Because look, if they bite you, it does nothing. 
We'll just try to kill these ones as quick as we can. And even if I can't get these two into melee contact, if I can at least get my archer to get an angle, an unobstructed angle, I'm confident. Oh shit, that's a problem. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a worry. Do we have a mice specialist next to it? We don't. Shit. That's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, Jesus, ouch. Is that a clear shot? No, it's not. How do I save Griffia? Oh yes, I can rotate him out with my Huskull. Um, I'm actually quite happy to attack these zombies now because I'm fairly confident we're gonna get into co uh, get into contact with the Necro monster or kill him with the crossbowman pretty damn soon. Is that an, an unobstructed shot? It is. So really, I just need to keep these zombies off of Jungian. But get in there, boys. Uh, Griff, just tank. In fact, I shouldn't have even, shouldn't have even attacked them. Actually, does Snurlock have rotation? <laughs> oh! Shit, that was the new guy we just hired. Oh, one more hit and he goes down. <laughs> Rip. Fucking hell. 68% and you miss. God damn it, you again. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Also, that's going to be a zombie we have to fight now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You missed both, Krator! Very glad this necromancer or this Vidyanga didn't move in front of my archer. In fact, he might do now. He doesn't, thank God. Early game necromancer fights. Shit's hard, yo. We should get a bit closer, yeah. Turn that 68 to 71. Two clutch shots missed. 68 miss, 71 miss. Oh, I missed the trick there, okay? but could have taken out his big sword and attacked in an arc. Uh, fucked it up. And now this guy's definitely going to move in front of the necromancer. Can I dodge away here? Go on, Stobby. Cheeky. Might be able to get a stab off on him. <laughs> so it's better, Kratos. Oh! 
Aladdin, can you pick up that guy's weapon? It's not on the ground. Interesting. See, I actually want Patton to mark this zombie so he can't move in front of my crossbowman. He's not moving though. Oh damn, now Patton can't move. Fuck, I hate having to fight my own guys. Okay, he should die this turn though. Well, even if he doesn't die, we should be able to lock him down. It's melee combat. Uh, melee combat. Which is all you have to do to stop him from casting spells. <coughs> Sorry, Griff. I've got to put you down, buddy. So, do I go for the stab? 67%. Well done. An unnecessary death, so I very stupidly put my uh, level 1 guy in a position where he got surrounded. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Which is of course one of the good arguments for having your level 1s just stay on the back line and get leveled up. Like we did, like we did with Stobby, but now we've already got a bunch of guys in their roles, if you will. Uh, we've got house trolls, we've got frontline guys. So I kind of felt like I, I need them to be on the front line. <laughs> that would have been such an easier fight if we had two good archers. And it's symptomatic of something that we're going to be struggling with this entire playthrough. But if I had... Um, Called again, the twinkle toes, the uh, movement skill on the front line guys, it makes it a bit easier because they don't get bogged down by the zombies up front. Another brother has joined Dove Cool. I think that's four, four or five fatalities so far. Footwork, that's what I'm thinking of, yeah. I mean, like, looking back at my videos, I can tell when I'm recording on a weekday or on a weekend, because on the weekdays, I'm so knackered from work and I stream, my brain is fried. Whereas on the weekend, it's obviously not an issue. Die, you bastard. Oh. So not much in the way of rewards from this fight, I don't think. I mean, particularly because, you know, we lost someone, which really sucks. They're all backup guys for the moment, though. I'm wishing I hadn't, hadn't fired Griff's replacement. Or th the guy that Griff replaced. There you go. Wine, a signet ring. Right, we need another 11, 11 heads. So, who's going to be better up front, I wonder? Level 3, level 3. Well, okay, well, Stobby, I think it's time. He's a raider. Take your take your place in the front line. Probably you're gonna be a front liner anyway. That again. Uh your husk also range defense fatigue. Man uh, <sighs> plus one on mini skill, that sucks. Let's, your hit points are fine, so resolve. At level three, Huskulls, take Adrenaline. Level five, Krytar the Raider. Is it time to take a weapon specialization yet? I think sword specialization, because he doesn't have stars there. He's only got 57 at level five, so he's going to have to be a sword raider. He's not looking good on his mini skill. It's looking like we're going to have to replace him. 
if, if, he, if he keeps leveling up that badly on melee skill, we're going to have to uh, change that A team rating to a B team rating. Which would be unfortunate. Okay, we need to do some armor swapping because we have some really beat up armor here. 98% is good, 90 is decent, 90 is decent, 70 is okay. 101, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, that's terrible. 88, yeah, that's no good. Uh, 110, 97, 62. Oh! Take the 90%. And then you guys are just going to have to wear the broken armor, I'm afraid. Repair it on the road. Bate, Stubby, the Raider. Start with the Felchin and use an axe if need be. Note to self, keep this guy alive. The guy with the green shield mustn't die. Uh, quick dagger check on our shield users. Yep. Oh, hang on, we've got a beaten up helmet there. That's better. Man, the guys took damage there. I mean, it is going to happen. And the Huskulls, if they have rotation, so rotation and ro and no rotation. So only of no consequence actually has rotation. And he has X mastery, so he should be using the long X. Uh, yes, let's give him the green hat. There you go. That's Mr. Important Pants over there. Oh, you, you are you upset, Kazathor, because your mates are dying? Griff died. Oh no, Griff died. No. Uh, how are we? Oh god, don't have enough tools. Let's keep exploring. I just need 11 relatively easy heads. We'll get 9 from this fight, but I mean, that's going to be a bit of a tough fight now. Die wolves? 5 of them, but it's in a, it's in a forest though. There's probably goblins in, in that collapsed ruin, so I don't want anything to do with that. Nice. We're hitting ambitions, which is great. God, this map, it's freaking Orc and Goblin Central. I would have thought that because we took the undead uh, late game disaster, that we, there would be, you know... Undead camps scattered all over the place, but no. Not the case. So this patrol mission hasn't worked out at all in terms of the economics, because it's going to take us probably the, for the full seven days to make the 2,100. And I mean, our running costs are, what, 208, so it's like a net profit of 700 gold. Yeah, we got one day left of money. And we need to get back to... Where is it? Eichdorf. In fact, uh, let's start moving towards there. The lack of undead is, is, up, is annoying me. Uh, so what's going to be easy... This is, unfortunately, it's going to be a while until we can get... Uh, any of these ambitions. Seven and a half thousand gold, we know in here, money wise. Three sets of heavy armor is almost as long, but I think I need to go this, because I'm going to need that anyway. I'm going to need the cart. Let's just save hard. Yeah, there's definitely goblins in there. You're going to get the footprints. At this point, I don't want to take any more losses. I'm just going to have a little look see over here, but we're going to have to be back at Eichendorf before. Um. Uh, the afternoon of day 34 because that's when we've got to pay everybody damn so this patrol really hasn't worked out Jungin, tomorrow 
Um, I think I need to. I'm going to do three episodes of Darkest Dungeon and then play some Dota, or I'll probably do the three episodes of Darkest Dungeon and then just watch the international. Like I mean, I'll finish up this episode now and go watch the international. Oh, what is this? As you sit with the men around the fire, a discussion around the flames gets a little loud. Devgin, the brawler, stands up and points at his own chest with the hearty laugh. Uh, this is our brawlers busy fighting. Well, at least it makes them eager. But grazed eye socket and sprained ankle. Not what we needed right now. So 19 times 30, it's still okay. 13, yeah. It's very disappointing. What's all the tailors? Okay, we need to offload some junk. That's sell that. Uh, 30 to 35. So that makes that junk, and that's junk. That's junk. Unfortunately, we have to go quite hard with selling stuff. Times are a little bit tough now. Am I ever going to use that hooked blade? I don't think so, no. Two, three, four, six, seven. What have you got for us? Ooh. So it's a bit of a risk here because this is going to be a retrieve the, the widget from some place. Yep. And depending on what type of one it is, it might be one of those, oh, finding the thing is easy, but then you get attacked, so you just run away, and then it's almost 2,000 gold. So we'll do that. If it's the type of one where you actually have to fight the auxiliaries, then we won't fight them. We'll just have to fail the mission, which would suck. Oh, well. I think the heavy armor is 210 plus. No, that's 230. So it would have had to have been Lamela armor at least, which is super tough to get. We would have had to kill three bandit leaders and get their armor. I'll, I'll rather push through to make the seven and a half thousand crowns because I really want the extra inventory size. Anyway, good little mission. Could have gone way better, but hey, they're not all going to be A+. Uh, so just remember, we're still fishing for our archer and we need another frontline guy because I very stupidly got uh, Griff killed. Sorry, Griff. My bad.